back deep for the Crimson Tide. Marcel West is number one, and Michael Fagan is number 26. He's on the right-hand side of your screen. The great veteran Jimmy Hucker is your referee here today, and I mean Richie lowers the boom, folks. This one is coming out on the 20-yard line. Third and seven. Bergdorf eyeing perhaps his first passing situation. Four-man rush. They'll flare it out in the flat. And that is using the fullback. That is Eddie Sissom. And again, that option. Look, Northern hits the quarterback, and they put it in Riddle's hands. And Riddle brings it out to the 38, and Anthony McFarland, the defensive tackle. Well, they've come back up to the line now on third and short. And there is the first down. Bumble. And LSU pounces on it. The strong safety Crawford wraps it up. Excellent punter. Chad Kessler. Big time average. Almost 49 yards a punt. Kicks it a little too far, Brent. Of course, he's got a nice wind behind him as well, doesn't he? Here they come Let's again. Bergdorf, and he delivers it beautifully off the blitz to Tony Johnson, the tight end, who is run out of bounds by Torrey James. The ball on Alabama's 35, low scoring defensive tussle shaping up here. Bergdorf sacked and down at the 31 yard line as they collapse on him again. And Donardo very happy with the early going. In the last few weeks, we've been presenting offensive teams that have scored touchdowns twice as many times as they've punted. Obviously, here, they're not doing it. Now, Hayden Stockton will punt the ball. Eddie Kennison, a big time return man, will let this one roll out of bounds at the 35 yard line. After the penalty, it is first and five. Bama is sluggish. Four. They have about nine talented defensive linemen here at Alabama. The most we've seen this year. Howard wide open is Wilson. Todd McClure, number 72, checks in from the sideline. There's his first snap. There's a penalty flag down. Wilson again. That would be a first down at the 31-yard line, but there is a penalty. Townsend, the defensive back. Alabama has not done a good job on punt returns. They return Townsend. He won't be happy. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. Dick, let's see if Kennison can light a fire here for the Tigers. He's back to return. They're going to try to punt away from him, which they did. Beautiful punt. And he makes the catch at the 35-yard line. And we can see Townsend set to return this punt by Chad Kessler, who can turn it loose here with the wind at his back. Does just get off a boomer under pressure. What a good-looking punter. Wow. Oh, very close to knocking that one back. They have only 41 yards of offense, and now they come back with their starting running back, Dennis Riddle. John, thank you very much. Bergdorf hands off to the fullback, and Sissom rumbles with the best offensive play of the game for Bama to the 47-yard line. He'll try to keep it away from Kennison, and so far he's done a good job. That's a nice high punt. At the 11 yard line. Howard on first down. Wilson he makes got a leaping catch on that far side. Wonderful catch by Shedrick. Off to a good start here in the first half for scoreless. Falk picks up the rush man that time, and they go back to their big weapon. Out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That's Fernando Bryant. The freshman cornerback, number 25. Townsend, the defensive back. They go after this one. They feel they can block one on him, and they've been trying. Townsend picks it up and goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Brian Bergdorf here on first down off a play fake. On the way down intercepted. is intercepted. It's picked off by Linton, the free safety. 
Good protection. Stands tall. Fires again to Wilson, and Wilson is having a big time day. They're inside the Bama 20 yard line. They show blitz as they step into the gap. They back it back out, and here comes Falk. Falk got the corner turn. Falk still going before Jackson could finally stop him, but he's inside the 10 yard line. This defense, as you saw by the graphic a couple of snaps ago, has been very good in the red zone. Short drop. Kennison can't get a grab. It's third down, but there is a penalty flag. For you folks who have come back, we had a pass interference call against Townsend, which gave LSU a first and goal. They have failed to score on two plays. Andre Lefleur in a bid to put the Tigers up by a field goal. A 20-yarder. He's got it. LSU on a 20-yard field goal by Lafleur goes up 3-0. And now, Kennison. See if he can get something going. They have really punted away from him beautifully. And they continue to. However, LSU will be playing with half the field. Jamie Howard, injured shoulder and all, brings the Tigers up to the line. Kennison's the motion man, puts him into the slot, under pressure, hey, and safety. down he goes with Dwayne Rudd, number 87, coming with safety, Kevin Jackson. That's a return type ball. On the 25, Townsend. Three wide receivers. Kitchens. Now throws to wide open Curtis Brown and fumble. LSU Stansberry scooped it up. Now Howard wants to set the screen again, and it is disrupted. So he goes deep down the right, intercepted at the 10 yard line, picked off by Kevin Jackson. And for Jackson, that's his fifth interception of the season. It's 4.30 now, and it is third and 12 for Kitchens. High grab complete, and they bail themselves out with a first down to Chad Key. <laughs> Second and 15. 3.30 first half. We've got a field goal game, LSU leading. Kitchens with time, and this is grabbed by Brown. Brown crosses midfield to the LSU 46-yard line. 31 yards to the 47 officially, and now Riddle has a hole on the left side. His best-looking run of the game with James cleaning up at the 36-yard line. Now they work the toss to Riddle. Riddle on a cutback, slams across the 30-yard line. And suddenly, we're seeing a different Bama offense. Using a tight end, basically, Niblet. Alternating with fullback, and here he comes again. Little pounds to the 17 yard line on quick hitters right now. He's just slamming into that hole. LSU will sit down with two tight ends, and have you ever seen a tailback any deeper than that, Coach? Not much. He's at seven and a half. That gives him a chance to roll to the hole. Now he gets outside. Second down and three after the seven-yard burst by Falk. They come back with a talented freshman again. He swings it to the outside, and he is very close to a first down. He's audibly. Short drop, complete. They get it to Kennison, and Kennison is out to the 45. Big time guy, Brent. 13 balls over 50 yards, three over 60 yards. Bama trying to get through and can, and he rifles another one to Townsend, who lets it go. It takes a bounce on the one yard line. This one's going to be downed at the five. Now on second and eight, and Little has suddenly come into his own. He is headed toward the first 100-yard day rushing for Bama with Torrey James bringing him down. LSU coaches say they have to work their first-string offense on the practice against their second-string defense and vice versa because they don't have enough kids scout team-wise. Oh. Desertel trying to hold up at the middle linebacking spot. 
Now Kitchens off the fake. Goes right to the middle and Chad Key at the 40-yard line. First down and 10 now, just inside the 40. Riddle is back in. He gets that corner again on him before Linton, the free safety, brings him down. They're showing blitz up here, Brent. Release to the 20-yard line, driven out of bounds, short of the first down. Denard Walker's down here at the left, number 24. It's a 37-yard Proctor attempt. They get there, and Proctor, no good. Boy, those nagging five-yard penalties really hurt a team against a great defense like Bama's. And here comes Falk. Falk in the middle. Falk now dances off to the right side, out to the 28-yard line, and Jackson brings him down. Now on third, Falk trying to get to the corner. He's got it. Falk. To the 45, across midfield, to the 45-yard line. He may have stepped out of bounds right near midfield. Look for Obama to come up with some kind of a change, either a blitz off the corner, try to throw him for loss. Here it comes. Here's Cleveland. And he is pushed out of bounds by Bryant, the freshman defensive back on that side. Big time LSU drive right now. Kennison starts in motion. Bumble! Rudd's got it. He's, He's got great right. speed. Rudd takes off. Rudd is down to the 21. Could have been a game saver. He doesn't miss many of this kid. On the practice field the other day, I don't think I saw him miss one field goal. So the 38-yarder. No good. Oh, He's missed two in a row. Woo! We, I don't have any record of that, but I kind of doubt there's been many times in his career that he has missed two in a row. Third down. They have yet to convert a third down. 0 oh for 8. They got one. They get it to Big and Dave LaFleur, the tight end. Second down and 10. Blitz, strong safety. And they get it to Hill, this time Chris Hill. Staten making the stop. LSU and Bama, final 15 minutes. This is LSU with second down and six, starting with final 15 minutes. Their talented freshman running back, Falk, barges to the 39, and Mr. Blackburn is there to meet him again, short of the first down. All right, let's go. Offset him to the right. Oh, the quarterback kept it and surprised everybody. <laughs> and me. I'm disappointed. Uh, me too. I want, to I want to see him carry it. He made it, but God they tell you. He yeah, they didn't get it. They didn't get oh, it. They didn't oh, get oh, it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Woo. And done. there he is, Mr. Eddie Kennison, back deep. Hasn't done anything yet. Bama's kept it away from him. They've angled their punts. Low snap. Well done. Kennison on the move. Football. Bama punches. But there's a penalty flag down. Hold it now. There's no flag. Okay. Defensive man coming downfield was pushed into the two yard zone. No That's penalty. what I thought. No First penalty. First down. Moon over Tuscaloosa and Jamie Howard fires sideline. Townsend got it. Townsend out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Wiley is back at defensive tackle. Here they come. Kitchens rolling out to the right now. Northern gives pursuit. Tried to knock the ball free as he pushed him out of bounds. Making the stop was Walker. He's injured. He's out of the game. Little is here now. Here's the pitch. The walk in. Touchdown, Bama. Not a good one. Townsend on the run. Townsend out of bounds at the 46, so he's contributing. During the run back, we have a block in the back, a 10-yard penalty in the spot of the foul. Now it is third and six. Bama working on the clock, seven and a half minutes, and they put the ball in the hands of Curtis Brown, and Curtis has a first down in LSU territory. It's times like this that I hate pay-per-view. <laughs> Third down and 20 now. 
Kitchens hit as he releases. Jump ball. Walker doesn't see it. Intercepted by Linton. There's a flag down, and this ball is picked off by Linton, but let's get it sorted out. There's no pass interference in the ball being deflected. There's no penalty. Yeah, good job. The question was whether the ball had been tipped or not. It was ruled that it was tipped. First down. Get no, your hand no on money. my pocket, Coach. No money, but an antidote. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I wonder it took him so long to win. <laughs> Ooh, nice pass. And here's Townsend. He's had a big time game. Good football player. They're overshifted to the tight end side. Good call. And Riddle gets a block from West. And Riddle to the 43. And now Tempers flare just a bit. Stansbury is upset. And this is Alexander who slams across midfield. Alexander to the 41 and Crawford. Alexander, he did not run out of bounds. Curtis Alexander is left in the game of So Alabama beats LSU 10 to 3. Win 59 for this man. One more, and he'll average 10 wins a season for six years. And our genuine Chevrolet players of the game for LSU is Anthony McFarland. For Alabama, Dennis Riddle. And Chevrolet donates $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. Bama rules 10-3 over the Tigers.